Hello folks. I want to share my thoughts on 7014 stick rods. 7018, 6010, 6011, and even 6013 seem to get the bulk of the talk when it comes to stick welding. At least it seems that way to me. Obviously there are plenty of people who use 7014 rods, but I think it tends to get overlooked by some. For this video I'll be using a $70 Chinese stick welder. Just so you know it's not something fancy with a hot start or anything that makes starts easier. It's just a basic 120 amp stick welder. But getting back to the topic at hand, I really like 7014 rods. I think it's a decent general use rod that's pretty easy to run. It has a fairly heavy layer of slag while welding that makes the puddle difficult to see, but you can just drag the rod so it's still pretty easy to run. It leaves a really smooth bead and if you have the amperage dialed in the slag is usually easy to remove. Slag removal aside, they do seem to tolerate a wide amperage range and still run okay. But tack welding is what really makes me appreciate 7014 rods. When it comes to tack welding with a stick welder, a 7014 rod is like easy mode. There's iron in the flux of 7014 rods, so the flux itself is mildly conductive. In fact, if you touch the flux against the work, you can sometimes get little arcs right through the flux. So even if the rod is burned up into the flux a bit when you stop, it still restarts easily. In fact, I think it actually is easier to restart a 7014 rod than it is to start a fresh rod. When the rod is burnt up into the flux a little bit, it's almost impossible to stick the rod if you have it set anywhere near hot enough. At that point, you don't even really have to strike an arc, you just press the rod against the metal, and if the arc doesn't start right away, rock it or tap it a little and it'll light right up. The 1 16th inch rods are a bit more finicky for me, but that's partly because I run them at the very bottom edge of possible amperage. And even then, they still work okay, and they allow me to weld some fairly thin stuff with a stick welder. Don't get me wrong, 7014 rods aren't magic, but I think they can be a good general use rod on a wide range of material thickness, and I think they're super handy for quick tacking. I personally think that it's worth picking up a box of 7014 to keep on hand just for tacking, even if you don't use them for anything else. And that's it for this video short one today just wanted to share my thoughts on 7014 since it seems to get overlooked a bit if you have any questions let me know as always thanks for watching take care